kids being bullied, sometimes to death. It is a story you see in nearly every headline today, but sadly, it's a story we were covering as long as 18 years ago, right here on 2020. And yet there's certainly nothing old about this problem. In fact, it seems the passage of time has only made bullying worse. Listen to this, 160,000 kids a day miss school because they're too afraid to go. So what you just saw in the last clip was a news video of them about to tell a story of a little boy who took his life due to the effects of bullying and his experience. So while I'm showing these pictures right now, I'm gonna give you guys a little facts and then I'm gonna talk about it as a whole. So some bullying statistics is that 160,000 kids per day skip school for the fear of being bullied. There's three Bs of bullying. Number one being bullier. 30% of youth admit to bullying. Number two, bullied. One in three students have been bullied at school. And finally, number three, bystanders. 70% of kids have witnessed bullying. 28% of U.S. students in grades 6 through 12 and 20% of students in grades 9 through 12 have experienced bullying. So, in my other source, I read that those who bully are often looking to gain a feeling of power or purpose to have a certain control over you. And when they do this and they do this to the person they want to bully, it's like they're preying on you and creating a insecurity that you didn't have before, either emotionally or physically, with you. So... When you're experiencing the bullying, you self-sabotage and you internalize it and you wonder why that certain thing, what about it makes you ugly or makes you different or makes you weird because you have that thing or you like a certain thing. So in order to change or mask ourselves, we dye our hair, bleach our skin, date people who we aren't interested in and cover up our bodies like there's something to be ashamed of. But in reality, these differences are what makes us us and what makes us unique. And we should be celebrating them, not letting other people put us down because of them. When I see bullying, I feel scared, sad. I feel mad. Mad. I feel mad. When I see bullying, I feel helpless. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Like I better stay out of there. I don't know what to do. I want to help, but I'm scared. Me too. Me too. Me too. I wish I knew what to do. I want to help, but I just don't know what to do. We all feel that way sometimes. It makes me feel like I did something wrong. Bullying hurts everyone. Bullying hurts everyone. It's not fair. And I don't get involved because I'm afraid the bully might pick on me. We all feel that way sometimes. But we're not alone. We're not alone. Together, we can change what's happening. We can change what's happening. We can change what's happening. Speak up. Reach out. Be a friend. Be a kid against bullying. So that video, as you saw, just showed a bunch of kids telling why they're scared to stand up and why they're scared of being bullied. The main reason I think the bullies bully is because they're insecure. It's as simple as that. They are not happy with themselves. So in order to make themselves feel better and make themselves feel some kind of rush, some kind of power, they put other people down who are secure with themselves or who are trying to be secure with themselves. Because it's easy. It's easy to put others down and speak badly on them when you feel that way about yourself and on the inside. Through these videos and these pictures and just me talking and telling you guys about bullying, I want you to try to feel what these people feel like when they're being bullied. Because honestly, getting bullied is not easy to go through. If you've never experienced it, you'll never know the feeling, but people are bullied every day and sometimes it's for things they can't control or can't change in the moment. And I wanna bring awareness to that. I found this cool quote on Pinterest that says, don't point out 
anything in a person's appearance if they can't fix it in 10 seconds. And I think that directly relates to my topic of bullying. If someone cannot change something in that exact moment, you don't need to be pointing it out because they're probably already insecure about it and they probably already are constantly thinking about it and constantly want to change it. And by you bringing more attention to that, it's like going to eat them alive. It's just rude to do And in case it wasn't clear before, degrading someone to make yourself feel better might work a couple of times, but sooner or later, you're going to have to come to terms with what really makes you insecure and the real reason why you are bullying others to seem cool or for your satisfaction or to make yourself feel less insecure. So you're going to have to deal with that sooner or later. It might not be now, and you might think that you're hurting people is making yourself feel good, but it's, it's temporary feel good. You're... You're going to regret it later.